if you want to print and cut on uh, paper or stickers or whatever on a sheet that is less than letter size, there is a workaround. And I've got just a couple of sentiments here. I don't want to print up a whole page, eight and a half by 11 page of these tiny sentiments. So I'm going to um, go ahead and uh, click on make it. And now these have been set, they've, they're flattened and um, uh, they're set as print and cut. And uh, when you flatten it, it won't cut out the, the little letters individually. It will just cut around the outside of this whole design. So I'm going to click on Make It. And mine has the letter size chosen. And remember, I've already cut my paper. I cut it in half lengthwise, and I cut it in half again. So my paper is now four and a quarter by five and a half, but I don't have that choice here on the material size. So I'm going to have to keep in mind that I'm going to have to keep my design within that small area that the, is the size of my paper. So I'm going to rotate these long ways and I'm making sure that I'm paying attention to the orientation so that when I lay this on my cutting mat, I don't turn my design upside down. And, and what I'm talking about is I have the bottom of the letters or the word is facing to the left because I have flipped them the wrong way when I bring it to my cutting mat. So I don't want to do that again. So get them, I, what I do is I put the first one as far to the left, upper left corner as I can and then I line the next one. And I can see that they are both going to fit within the four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm good to go on this one. So at this point, I can click continue, and the program still thinks that I'm working with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Give this a minute to think about where my maker is. So I'm gonna click on send to printer. And um, it's chosen my printer. I can leave the bleed on if I want to, but I want to make sure I'm using the system dialog because right now uh, Cricut wants to print this on a full sheet of paper, and I don't want to do that. My program's kind of slowing down a little bit. So it's pulled up my printer dialog, and on here it really tells it tells you, and this has happened to me before. After clicking print, your print dialog may appear behind your design space application. If that, if it does that, you can click alternate tab and you can find this dialog box uh, that's hiding in the back. So I've chosen my printer. I want to go to my preferences and I want to cha change the size of paper. And for mine, I'm going to feed it into my paper tray and I'm going to choose user defined. You can cut your paper to anything that's standard, like 5x7 or 4x6, whatever your printer can handle. But I'm going to choose User Defined, and I'm going to change the width to 4.25 and the height to 5.5, and click OK. And then uh, also you want to make sure that you're printing at the full size. You don't want to reduce it or anything like that. No, no scaling. So. Um, your, your window may look different than this. Then I'm going to click OK. And then it's ready to send to my printer. So I would click Print and load my little tiny sheet of paper into my printer. Now I need to set my base material. And I'm just doing this sample on a just a piece of copy paper. and then done and then it's telling me to um, go ahead and load my materials and stuff but at this point again Cricut thinks I'm going to be putting an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper into my cutting machine but I'm, I'm not so um, the next step is to go on over to the cutting machine okay I've loaded my little piece of paper 
with the bottom of the letters to the left because that is the orientation that I had it in the machine. I don't want to turn this the wrong way because it won't cut out these lines correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and load it in the machine. It's flashing with the load button. This is a uh, Cricut Maker and um, so it's just telling me what to do next. And then this should start flashing in just a minute and it should cut out my design. The machine is going to sorry about hitting the camera, but the machine is going to go ahead and read these uh, black orientation lines and um, so it'll know how to square it up. So at this point it doesn't matter whether you've got a full sheet of paper in there because Cricut is always going to put the um, the lines just around the designs that you're doing the print and cut. So you don't need the full sheet. Once you get it to the machine, the, it, this, and this, this machine in particular does not know what size paper I've actually put on the mat. Test my blade. So it's cutting out the blue outline. And now it's going over to the yellow one. Perfect. And so that is how you trick your machine into thinking that you have an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper in there.